All right, welcome to Push Too Far, the show for people who've been pushed too far. Now, this is our last show on this cable channel. I don't want to waste our valuable time talking about why, but if you look around this so-called studio, you might get a clue. Anyway, this is Push Too Far, the show for people who are fed up and have got the guts to say, screw it, and walk. Now, there aren't too many of us left, but I know that the few and the proud are out there watching. They're not in some crummy office, brown-nosing, and kissing an ass like all get the stupid... Get on with it! All right, I am getting on with it! I am getting on with it! Would you just let me get on with it? All right, okay, all right, forget it, forget it. Just welcome our first guest, Alex Dukins. All right, Alex, all right, it says here, all right, you walked off your job, all right, you walked off your job because they moved your chair. <laughs> is that, that, they moved your chair, that's, is that, why? Is that what they told you? Is yeah, that what they told you? Is that what they told you? Is that what that says? It says you moved Okay, because they did move my chair, but that wasn't it, okay? That was just part of it. That was just part of this whole load right, of BS yeah, that they've right. been feeding me for seven years. Okay, Let me tell you. Right, when I okay. started there, okay, they told me I could have flex time, right? Right. So I go in for my flex time, and what do they do? They chew me out for being late, okay? Oh, that's... that's that good. was in 85. That's now, in 86, oh, what right. happened was that well, they told me that... Okay, okay. See, that's 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 great and everything, but see, uh, we I, we don't really have time to do the whole seven years. So why don't you just tell us just tell us the main thing that really pushed you too far? <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> yeah, well, good riddance to you, you dumb son of a. Uh, he was he was really starting to get on my nerves. Anyway, I am I'm glad that he's gone. I'm glad that he's gone because it's time to bring our old buddy Hal Hal Bashline. Hal, Hal, get out of here. Get 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 out of here. Get out of here, Hal. Hal doesn't take any crap. This guy doesn't take any crap. Hal, how you doing? Fine, John, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't seen your show lately. It's oh, been yeah? a long time because uh, the, the remote on that cable box stopped working. Yeah? And I, I just tossed the whole thing through the window. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff I hated about that cable box and that remote. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I hated a lot of it. But I mean, don't, what, but, okay, I just don't want to talk about that. All that right, right, all right. Now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, not talking about that. Let's, let's talk about what's pushing you too far this month. All right. Containers. Containers. That's what I said, isn't it? Yeah, okay, all right, okay, Al, okay, all right. So, so containers, all right, I'm sorry. What, what about containers? What, what pushed you too far? Okay, well, first of all, what the hell is the deal with this thing, okay? I have enough trouble lighting the barbecue already, okay? Then they give me this lighter fluid, and yeah. it's got this little dot. Yeah. And you gotta press on the dot oh. down, then you gotta pull up on the You're outside. Telling me you gotta you press and pull it. You can't time. do it. That's you make right. me do it. You make me nuts. That is, that's, that's too far. He's right. He's right about that. That's too far. That's total BS. What yeah. else? And these video cassette wrappers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying. You can't get them off. You get under there with your fingernail and you tear the thing. And then, and then even if you get it undone, the, the, the wrapping won't come off. Okay? I mean, it's like either you, you break your fingernail or you miss Matlock. Now, what kind of choice is that? <laughs> You've got to get mad about that. That's right. That's BS. You've got to get mad. That's too far. Look at this. I don't even want to talk about this. Oh. Perfectly good saw in the shrink wrap. In the shrink wrap. Look at that. You can't get that out. And it's a no. saw and you can't get now it out. Now, why can't they put that kind of stuff on your mustache? <laughs> I'm never going to get to this saw. I'm never going to find out what it's like to saw with this. All right? All right. You're right. And That's last too far. thing, John, look yeah. at this. All right. It's orange juice. It's frozen. You pull this thing. If you can get your thumb on it, you pull it. Yeah. And even if you get it off, even if you get this thing off, you can't get the lid off. You can't get the lid off. No, no, no. How, see, what, what the thing is, you're probably just pulling it off wrong. I mean, I can get those open. <laughs> I, I mean, no, they're screwed. You're right. They're screwed. I hate the orange juice thing. They're screwed. Forget about it. Thanks for being here, Hal. Okay, thanks for being here. Now let's hear from some other people who have been pushed too far. Yeah, I have a complaint. You people make me sick with your constant whining. You should thank God every day you're alive, but instead, what do you do? You bitch and moan about how this isn't right and that isn't right, and isn't everything just one big stinking mess? And instead of whining to yourselves, you're filling up the airwaves, my airwaves, with this crap, and I, for one, am not going to watch it another second. Goodbye. Oh. That was beautiful. That's great. Track that guy down and buy him a case of beer for me. Now that guy's an artist. All right, let's let's hear let's hear from another guy who's been pushed too far. 
I've been pushed too far for a long time now, to the point that I'm constantly depressed and rude to complete strangers. Now what do I do? Well, have you ever considered a career at the Department of Motor Vehicles? <laughs> it's a good idea. Good idea. Get right in. All right, all right. And, you know, actually, that brings us to our weekly job survey. Now, as you know, many of us are unemployed because society isn't ready to hear it like it really is. You know what I mean? They blame us for their mistakes. And when they do that, they are messing with the wrong bird. Am I getting through to you? They do not want to tangle with us. All right, enough said. But we do need work from time to time. So we've looked at our viewers' letters, and once again, we present our top jobs for the push too far. All right, college basketball coach, motorcycle cop, cable television installer, ticket taker at an X-rated theater, and finally, PMS clinic receptionist. <laughs> All right, now, before we go, we at Push Too Far would like, you to invite to, would like to invite you to join us at our movie protest and barbecue. Now, Hollywood continues to portray people who are pushed too far in a negative light. Now, just look at Silence of the Lambs, Thelma and Louise, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You see, Hollywood insists on focusing exclusively on a small number of people who are pushed too far and who choose to channel that into psycho killings and cannibalism. Now that makes the rest of us look bad, and we're not going to take it anymore. So join us on the picket line, and then come on down to the barbecue at the Henderson Peugeot dealership. They wouldn't fix my car, so I'm torching it right there in their parking lot. <laughs> now it's their problem, so bring your weenies and marshmallows, and I'll see you there. <laughs>